Alright, we are hopefully back again with a continuation of our Dark Souls Let's Play and uh, where we are now is, of course you can tell where we are by that pounding hammer. Uh, we're right where the blacksmith is. Something I wanted to actually uh, test. No one had actually told me this. Maybe somebody said it when I very first started playing but I haven't seen a single comment on any of the YouTube videos about it about the kindling. Uh, as far as I understood, I thought kindling just gave uh, whoever was playing in the server at that time or had just used that particular bonfire, it would give them an extra Estus flask. But from what I have gathered, if I actually uh, reverse the hollowing and then kindle this particular bonfire here, it will always give me 10 Estus flasks after that. And that is something that I really wish I knew a lot earlier. Uh, I think that's what it is anyway. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. I've got a bit of a coarse throat at the moment, so I'm trying to record. I just necked uh, two coffees extremely quickly, so hopefully they'll kick in soon and, and my throat will go back to its usual, usual scheduled programming. But yeah, so I think we have to... Okay, so what we have to do is reverse hollowing. Yes. And we'll go to human, but I think the one of the biggest problems is this actually uh, leaves you open to be invaded. So now, oh, oh there's just a dude just chilling there. So is he just a ghost or is he just a ghost, mate? So now, if we kindle, no humanity. Oh, I think maybe I have to get up and actually use a humanity. Is that what I got to do now? So if I crush one of these, humanity. And then if I sit back down, and then go Kindle, yes. Yeah, use the fan, use the force. It was like force and power combined, it was like Fowler. <laughs> so now do we have 10? Oh, look at that, okay. So as, as far as I understand now, this particular bonfire will be permanently set to 10 blasts. That is something I did not know and I wish I really did know that earlier because it would make life a lot easier, especially in the locations where there is a bonfire but you only get five flasks. Uh, early on in the game it would have helped a lot. Uh, I've, I've become almost used to having five now, but having ten in this location is definitely going to help. <coughs> Alright, what I am going to do in this particular episode is I want to head back to where uh, the Drake is. Dracon, and I want to actually, I think there's a door there I can open now, so I'm going to go have a bit of a squiz over there. I think he is, his name is the Bridge Wyvern, from what I have uh, read. I've, I've, like, there are a few bits and pieces where I try and read information, but <laughs> I, I try not to get spoilers. If I want to know uh, if there's something I was supposed to do, or if there's something very important that I missed, I try and... I try and get a little bit of information without getting too many spoilers, but uh, what I saw about the uh, the bridge wyvern was uh, strategies on basically either how to defeat him or how to get past him, but it looks like the game was actually patched, so from what I can gather, uh, players used to be able to stand at the bottom of the bridge uh, and shoot him in his neck and that would eventually kill him, but now he actually will heal himself. So I think when he gets to 25% of his health, uh, he will actually heal himself. So the other thing was to do enough damage to him and then actually uh, try and run across the bridge to avoid him completely while he heals himself. Apparently he lifts his wing up over his head when he heals himself. We just failed with that, that big attack there, so. <laughs> But yeah, what I want to try and do is, uh, I'm pretty sure there's a door I can now open. I think if it's where I'm thinking it is, it's uh, right where we met Solaire. And, oh, did we wake both of them up now? Yeah, right where we met Solaire. I think there's a door there I might be able to open now. The door wasn't close enough. We still got to chop. Here's Jeff, our old mate. Hello, Jeff in the face. Oh, what? Just missed. All right, let's get him. Oh, that was low. <clears throat> Look how badass we are now. <laughs> oh, I missed the parry. 
Got it there. There you go. Would you? <laughs> right, let's get back in here. Ten flasks, man. That is that is going to come in handy, especially at that location. Oops, wrong button. Wrong button again. <laughs> oh, you joking? Oh man, twelve and a half thousand souls. That was ridiculous. So again, I think like I said it before. In a previous episode, so you have to be confident with your parries, but sometimes you'll just you'll either you'll miss one and then you should just block. But you really want to get that parry, you get into the habit where you're like, I'm just gonna get that parry, man. No, I'm getting it. And then if you just blocked and just been sensible, you would have survived that encounter, but nope. <laughs> you're like, I'm a badass, I'm gonna parry everybody. <laughs> it's honestly something that you just need to. Sometimes you just need to block. Oh, oh, knew that arrow was gonna get us. Jump chop. Yeah. Oh, he's got some stuff. Hollow garbage, thank you. Somebody died. What you die doing, dog? Oh, do I have wrong? Did he poison himself? That was pretty weird. Oh, so we're not human now as well, so I suppose uh, <laughs> we, we can't get invaded now, but that's a bit of a waste of humanity. But if that is true, that the uh, that the Esther class stay at 10 now, that's going to be fantastic. That's that's really something that's going to help. It was a jump chop. Oh, I missed it. Oh, oh. oh. He did. He did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I gotta get my brain back into Dark Souls. I I genuinely look forward to playing this game, but at the moment I'm I'm trying to only play it when I record, so that I can actually get the uh, episodes done for YouTube. And uh, I think when I'm not live streaming it, it's this still does change the way I play the game a little bit, but not as much as if I was live streaming. Uh, because there's no one here telling me, asking me to do things, so it. This is more like how I would actually play the game without recording, without any any intervention. I think it's the best way to do it, especially when you want to learn a game and get the most out of it. <laughs> the animation is so good when you rock him in the face with the arrow, he just goes, oh, <laughs> freaks out totally. Oh, we're parrying, we're parrying. No, we're not. Now we're blocking, parrying. No, <laughs> we're blocking. <laughs> <laughs> We're just here for the, the green stuff, man. All right. <laughs> Give me that. You gotta parry. Yeah, I told you. I told you. We had to parry somebody. <laughs> there you go. You got anything? Oh, you got something? Tight night. Good. Good. Oh, take all that tight night. I have to see. I have to find one of those green type knight shards, I think, and that will let me actually uh, upgrade my axe into an elemental axe. So what am I going through? I wonder if I can just run through here. Wood! <laughs> yeah! Yes, we're running! Dodging arrows. Oh! I wonder if there's any going to be any more of those boars we have to fight. Oh, we got hit by something. Rats down here. Care about these rats. Oh, I might care when I get poisoned to death. Are we safe? Is he, they're coming down. All right, we'll fight them down here. A bit better, better area down here to fight him in. Oh, he fast. Oh, double kill. Yes. I hear dracon. It's a blood state. There's just something so satisfying about parries in this game. Oh, that's stuff. Hollow stuff. Oh, I think he's seen it. Yep. Ah. We got stabbed. <laughs> we got stabbed. Now you got stabbed. Oh, don't walk off the edge, that'd be bad. Alright, Estus. There's something up there. Oh, that must be the other little soldier dudes. Alright. Oh, can I actually... I might have to go around the other way. I don't think, yeah, I don't think I'll be able to do this. <laughs> I don't think I can run across there. Um, oh, do I have to go the long way 
around to do it. <laughs> okay, I should have thought that out a little bit better. Yes, I can't. Yeah, there's no way I'll make it up to that end up there. Um, oh, so I don't have to fight my way through. All right, maybe. <laughs> Let's have a look. I think there's actually another door in the tower here that I haven't opened yet that I could probably do a detour and check that one out. This guy here. No, what's happening? <laughs> yes! Yeah! Oh! <laughs> chop it, chop. Alright, we'll get through all these dudes if we can. Shoot the flaming guys. Oh, miss. Oh, low blow. <laughs> Get across a bit. Yes, and yes. And then we'll draw this guy in. Read message. Be wary of up. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, I love this new, like, night helm he's got. He looks so much up and out. Oh, I got a full delay that one. Okay. We're just, we're completely stuffing up. Yeah. <laughs> completely and utterly. Drink that. Drink that goodness. Get in this room and fight these guys. Double chop. Oh, just one. That's okay. Oh, I think that one opens from the other side. I think. Okay, so that opens from the other side. The other one is actually up in the watchtower. Uh, there was a door there that maybe I have a key for now. Not entirely sure. I'll have to get up there and we'll have a bit of a look. Oh! It <laughs> two handed chop! It's the bane of my existence. <laughs> I just can't time it. These three blokes up here. We'll just we'll run in. We're pretty bad at now. <laughs> Oh, that's right. He's got the fire, hasn't he? Get chopped. Alright, we'll draw this guy out. How are we going for time? Oh, we got plenty of time. We've got at least another ten minutes. Yeah, I think there's a door. I have no idea where the doorway leads, though. So, I just... I saw that I got the watchtower key. I think I got it from the Moonlight Butterfly, I think. It was either from the Moonlight Butterfly or it was from the... Uh, the divine blacksmith that was frozen up on his tower up there. I can't exactly remember, but the only thing I thought was a watchtower was, I mean, it would only be this thing here, uh, or it's the one where the actual, the Taurus demon just before that. And I remember that there was a door in there that I couldn't open. I think I asked in the live stream. I said, is there uh, a way to buy a key to that? And somebody said, no, you, you, you'll be able to open that later. So. This is now much later. <laughs> so let's see how we go. Oh, again. Oh. Drink. Drink. Has this guy seen us? Oh. Now he's seen us. <laughs> there was... There. Oh, okay. With the jump backs. Oh, he couldn't get away from that one. Someone had a message here that had secret. Uh... A secret ahead or something like that. So I, I stood here, I was looking for ages, and I was like, oh, and I looked across there, and someone had a message on that platform across the, across the way there, and I thought, oh, maybe there's something there. I, I died four or five times, and I eventually got, uh, I got onto the ledge that's just beneath us to the left here, and I jumped down to that. Uh, you can sort of see it right above my head there, into that archway, and I thought, oh, I'm in there! And all that is, is that's just the way that uh, you can walk around where the Black Knight was. So I, I got trolled something severe there. <laughs> Absolutely trolled to death. All right, this is the door I think this key's going to open. Here we go. All right, here we go. This is, again, uncharted territory. <laughs> is there, oh, I thought there was nowhere to go. It was just a dead end. What's this say? Tough enemy ahead. Oh, okay. If it's got a rating of seven, I, I'm inclined to believe that. Can I just fall off here and stab him? <laughs> Not seeing any enemies yet. 
<laughs> Try stabbing in the back. Alright, so we'll go slow then. Over here, nothing? Nothing. Slowly, slowly. Gotta be quiet too. Yeah. I'm still not seeing anybody. I'm kind of expecting it to just jump out and just go. And then it, goes, and it just attacks you. <laughs> Alright, cruising down. I think eventually I'm going to have to start using other weapons. I've just been using this axe for pretty much the whole game. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that was a big fall. I wonder if he does that big... Can I backstab him? Oh, it doesn't take much damage. Doesn't look like I can backstab. Maybe I'm just not. Oh, there we go. That's backstabbing. Yes. How's that go for damage, though? Oh, not much, mate. Oh, it does good stamina damage. Oh, stay close. Oh, fuck it. Yes. All right. If I could just keep circling him and doing this, it won't be too bad. Oh, I missed it back step. Oh, rock me almost. It's good he's got that big wind up with the strike. It gives you time to actually get behind him. Oh. Go on, out into the open. Get away from that wall. Oh, that rocked me. We got you. Got a big club like sword type deal, man. <laughs> Is that a shield on his back? That's like a crazy shield, bruh. Yes! Ooh. <laughs> Sucker! Attack us if you dare. We will crush you. I am Ken Masters. <laughs> oh! Regenerate, regenerate. Get that stamina. That stamina. Oh, too early, I think, for the backstab then. Oh! One had a big breach on it. This one's gonna be good. Yeah, you can feel it. I felt it in my bones. <laughs> yes! It's gonna hurt. It's still not enough though, I don't think. Nah. How are we going for damage? Oh, he's got a lot of life towards the end here, it looks like. Oh, he's striking faster now, it looks like, too. It's a backstab. Stamina back up. Ah, oh, come on, backstab you! <laughs> oh! Ah, oh, <laughs> just chipping at him. I need to get the actual animation. Come on, dude. Step. Oh, rocked. Walk past, past them through. Backstab. Yes! Is this enough? Oh, still not enough. This guy is a monster. Should we parry him? I don't know. He might actually one hit kill us. We won't parry. <laughs> I really want to, but I'm not going to in case he's got a one, one hit kill. Oh, that would hurt. Is that enough? Oh, he's definitely rocked. Oh, yeah, he's fallen over. <laughs> What's he going to give us? Oh, look, he's got some. Ready? Give us your mystical secrets. Havel's ring. Okay. What is that? Man? Let's have a bit of a geezer. Boost max equipment load. That is much better than a toy, tiny being's ring. Oh, yeah, all right. I'm rocking that. Show. Uh, how do I check? Let me see. Equipment load 27.1 of 87.0. And then if we unequip this, oh, what was it? 87.0? Lucky number. Unequip that. So, what is it now? It, wow, that gives you heaps, man. I might even be able to rock that. 
that uh, whole armor set now. I wonder. Maybe I'm not that that bad edge yet. Oh, I can! I can rock the full soup with that ring. Now that is fantastic. <laughs> All right. Well, that is a 20-minute episode right there. So definitely made progress there, though. Definitely made progress. We've almost rocked uh, rocked up 20,000 souls as well. So I'll cut that one there. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, until the next one, we'll see you later.